just love the ice. As soon as I open the door to a curling rink and kind of smell that cold air and feel the rock and, and the slide, I, I love that feeling. Colleen Jones was pretty darn serious in the 80s about being the best curler she could be. And she really was a pioneer of new ways to bring our sport forward. She was able to play the game the way that she knew she could and her team to make best use of their skills. And they did it in contrast to the current thinking at the time. She was able to see beyond her years. And I would say that she was seeing things about practicing and preparing and the way that she ran her sport was so different than what people were doing then. And, and then she got rewarded, you know, at 22 years old with a, with a national curling championship. They jumped on it right away. She's very close. There's no indication. The very first Canadian Championship in 1982 gave me the confidence and the dream, and I never let go of that. And then we won again in 1999, and that was the longest, I think, 17 years between wins for a Canadian Championship. And most people had well written me off by that time, but I was developing my career, I was having babies, there were things that I was doing, but I never let go of the dream. As I've been away from our team of the day, I realize how her passion and commitment was indeed different than anybody else's. There was a time in my life I thought that my drive and passion was just such a curse. It was like it always nagging at me. You know, you've got to get better, you've got to get better, you've got to win. And then I realized in many ways it was my best blessing. It made me a better player. And the smile tells the story. I would not be who I am without Colleen. Like, she really gave us the courage to say we want to win. Mostly I had a little competition going with myself, trying to figure out how to get better and how to improve my game. There's the ball, but is it enough? Oh, it's going to be close. Anyone who wins anything knows that there's also some losses that are every bit as painful as the highs are when you win. So it's important to support her and keep her moving through those years when things didn't go that well. She had to take a hit and, um, and yet come back the next year and play better and improve. You look back and you realize how lucky you were to have that. Colleen is one of the kindest, most compassionate people I've ever had. Any kind of a troubling life experience, she'd be the first one on your doorstep. And with this stone, let history record a milestone in women's curling. Colleen Jones and Team Canada with an unprecedented fourth consecutive Scott title. She's definitely taught me to just think a little bigger and um, be a little stronger, and I am extremely proud of my friend. The curling is a, a big game in Canada. There's a lot of people who play, and there's a lot of people who watch, and there are very few people like her. Canada. Growing up in my family, we were all curlers, and curling was such a big part of my life. My friends were all found through curling. My husband I met through curling. And it has just been the rock in my life, this one thing that I've always been sure of.